Who's yeah. yours though? Well, you know how I feel about Nas. I think he is like one of the greatest, and if not the greatest MC. Mm. Um, Aside from Jay Z, but does he have a first album over classic? Jay-Z. Okay, I'm over Jay Z, his okay. Illmatic definitely a classic. Illmatic is uh, it was one of those slow burns, sort of like Reasonable Doubt was. Kind of like slow right, burn, right, right? You know what I'm saying? So it took a while for uh, sales and all that to catch up, but this conversation ain't about sales. This mm-hmm. is more about mm-hmm. classic albums. Good point. And yeah, 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 I'm yeah. going with Illmatic and Nas. Classic <laughs> first album for a classic MC. And who's your first? I don't know if I fully agree with Illmatic. For me personally, mm. as a classic first album for Nas, but I'm gonna be real. I haven't heard many Nas albums. Yeah, keep mm. it. I did hear Illmatic, but I haven't heard many Nas albums. I don't know. What he's doing. <clears throat> for me. Somebody that's kind of slept on, but the first album that was a classic, none other than Mason Beather, Harlem World. Mm. Was Harlem? I don't know. Harlem World was mm. a classic. Is it? Was it? You consider it a classic? Me myself. Yeah. I think it was. A I think it was a good album. I don't. I don't agree with it being a classic. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was a classic. What are we talking about? Could it classic? had the Mad Rapper on there? Wait, wait, wait. Could it have? Grown into a classic? I would think so. Mm, and, and the only reason why I say I don't think it was a classic is because you don't hear too many people still playing hard Nobody ever. right now. Nobody so you basically <clears throat> you're basing classics off what other people think. No. You well, you I'm basing so, classics off of well, look, my own taste because yeah. I still play Reasonable Doubt now. Right. I still heard some songs off Illmatic. I still play I've actually now. still listened to a couple of tracks. On Harlem World months ago. I'm not even saying recently, months ago. Just like I was Pull playing up the track something. List for Harlem World. And um, it kind of actually just pulled him, pulled Mace in. Yeah. Not discrediting anything from Mace. He's a dope artist, yeah. dope rapper, and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is Harlem World a classic? Yeah, nah, I don't know. Nah, I think it is. And, and part of this conversation, you gotta, it's, it Come is on, considered a classic. Yours. So it has to be something that. The mad rappers. We could all have classic albums that noise. nobody have ever heard. Yeah, we could yeah, have that conversation. But too. I'm talking about in the culture. Is it considered a classic? No. Well, if we talk about in the culture, then no. it's not considered I mean, a classic. That's why I said it's, it's, it's an honorable mention. Reasonable he doubt on. and Illmatic <clears throat> are considered classes in the culture by by a, a lots of people, right? So Facts. we got to kind of mix that in too. This is true. Right. This is true. First album classics, though. First album classics. First classic. album yeah. classics. Yeah, it's considered. Um, DMX. Uh, what DMX was the, what was the album? album? Was, uh, hell is hot. This was that. It's dark. It's, hell, it's dark and hell is hot. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. DMX is a good one. I think DMX that's is it. definitely that. Uh, that's a, I don't know. Is that I don't know if it's a classic album? though. I don't know, I don't I don't know, know if it's classic. I don't know if the first one is a classic. Is though. it classic? Is it memorable? Yes. Yes. Is yeah, it, it wasn't no classic. Yes. Dope. Yes. Is it a classic? A classic. Yeah. Mm. Definitely wasn't no no uh classic album for that person. But then. That o- that also gets us to really <laughs> like know this guy's commercial. That well. also gets us to think about like what's the criteria of having a making a classic album? What's a classic? Like album? what's yeah. the standard that we're going to hold it to? Oh, yeah. the album has to sound sonically good. Production has to be on par. The lyrics got to be on par. Storytelling, flows, delivery, basically it like like. Life After Death, even though that wasn't the first album, but that know, album was like a... I don't know, because it, it could be none of that, but the impact could be... Like what? Like what? I don't know. Um, impact could be massive, because massive, it could right? be life-changing for a lot of people, because yeah, even though so, we may not... Let, let's just say we we may not agree that Harlem World and It's Dark and Hell Hot was a first album classic, but to some people it is. If to me, a, it if is. We mean, next fan. No, I'm just to to three of us. Yeah, you know, we just three people. Yeah, in the scope of billions yeah. of people. That so I get what you say. We got. We just got to pick a side. Then. Yeah, we got to pick a side. Gotta pick a side. We got to pick dope. a criteria, right? And, and stick Boom! This is the list. This is what the categories I was going to use: mm. style, flow, format, production. You see I what I'm know. saying? If we name enough, then we're going to find out what the criteria is. Fifty Cent. Get yeah, Dodger, that's Richard definitely Dodger. a classic. Classic album. Established. I think. I think it's, it's dynamically known. At that yeah, that's album. definitely a classic album. It's like every one of the songs was singles. 
dynamic right. classic. They all did numbers. Yeah, that was press play. He took the fucking industry by storm. The impact was out of this fucking world. He sold ten million on that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. At a time where and he shut and then he killed careers after that. And he definitely then, killed careers. You know what's after crazy? That. It's a lot of new artists too that would. I'm not saying new like 2020 and yeah. newer, but I mean like after that, like because 50 is like what. 20 2000s yeah. late 90s yeah, early yeah, 2000s yeah, yeah. 2003 when, yeah, when so you, you know what I'm saying <clears throat> one of the it, criteria, it, it yeah. could go crazy I don't know nah, I, I just, it but could go crazy. one of the criteria to your point though is classics have to have some time to live yeah you like, have to, you have to I know live with people the now they always talk about my album is a classic it just came out last week how it's gonna be a fucking classic so the people using classic wrong which is what the internet do right? yeah they're using that term yeah, too they use, they're throwing around that term but it needs some time to breathe if if it came out three years ago and you still playing it or five years ago and you still playing it it might be on its way to a classic yeah <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying so do Drake got a classic I don't know I don't know Maybe. that's a good question not really and that's his problem. I'm not his problem. Well, does he have a first he's... album classic? Does he have a first album no. classic? Does he have any classic? What was yeah, Drake's was a, first was album? A great one. He had a mixtape that um, was fire. Fire before all this. Yeah, album. before it was, the wasn't it called Faded? Yeah. The mixtape or something like that? He had like three mixtapes that was dope before But it was one album. of them he had to fade that on the fire. Yeah. That's when he was working with Weekend and all of them, when they were still cool. J. Cole, first album classic. What was that? Um, I don't even. I, I, even I couldn't even tell you a J Cole album. I, that I've never listened to a whole J Cole album. No, actually, Wait, I think no, King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds or some shit like that. Kod. Kod. There I, you go. I listened to that one. That one was yeah. dope. All I the rest of them, I was like, I don't know. But that ain't the first. That ain't the first. That's, That's like, like the third, third yeah. fourth, maybe. So no. Um, Biggie, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. without without. Yeah. Ready to die was a classic. You know what? And then in this conversation, Pac's first album is not even classic. Was not. All Eyes on Me is a classic, but All that's Eyes not his first album. Yeah, was a classic. So it's hard to be in this club, right? All yeah. the greats are not in this club. So that, mm-hmm. that's like another to... good point too. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, yeah. do all of to be a great? Do you have? You think you think you got to have a classic album? 